have visited Rue and Who and Kip introduced this lovely ensemble. This is <laughs> from the band Anthemic. This is Jan and Simon. Yeah. Woo! Nice to be here. Thank you so much. I love your And hair. the drummer, but you need to give us your full name. Because Steve I don't know. Donnelly. All right, Steve. Welcome, guys. Why did you Thank use you. his full name? You know, the, the last three letters of my name is not quite What's your middle name? You didn't give us your full name. Patrick. <laughs> oh, so it's Steve. Well, Rockin's some Irish it right Steve here. Steve or Steven? Uh, usually it's Steven with a PH, mind you. You didn't give us your full name. We are Steven Patrick. Steven Patrick Donnelly. And it's quite Irish. Show enough. Have you ever been to Ireland? I have not. And did you ever meet a leprechaun? As a matter of fact, my father... Oh, no. Is a leprechaun? Man, he shit me out. Not a pot of gold. So there we go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Where are you from? I grew up in upstate New York, but I used to live in Albuquerque. Where's that? Oh, yes, that's right. freaking so, bad. Duke City. And yeah. where, where in upstate New York? Saratoga Springs. Oh, oh, that, that is like the cutest town. The cute is oh the right Oh my word. god, I had to drive through it once. I, I, it's like a Hollywood set. I want to stay in that black hotel that, I don't know the name. Do you know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, Broadway, the main drag there? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. gosh, I want to stay there one night of my life. Do it. I, there are ghosts. I, I, really? Show. I love ghosts. I, I, I do, know. I do. Wow, that is the, the charming place. place. And where are you from? I was born in Chicago. Chicago. I came South from side or North side? Really? North side. North side. I've never been to Chicago yet. I, 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 I want to. Everybody says it's, you know, it's a good city. It is. So what about in here? Uh, I came here when I finished high school, quite early. Okay. And uh, just needed to be in a bigger city. Right. Yeah. Well, this is, you can hide better here, probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Chicago's a cool town, though. I looked at Chicago. Although, with this hair, no one's hiding anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get, a, get a profile. This is some serious I mean, business. It looks great. It does it's look great. It's called an up don't. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. How did you. Is there a lot of spray on there? Yeah, hell yeah. My hair is stringy and straight. Me and too. It's raining and. Uh, yeah. oh. I have stringy, straight hair. Exactly. <laughs> I don't. Thanks. I, 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 there's nothing you can do about it. I've learned to accept and. And, and they just, you know, I know. Yeah, we put up with it. And it was I, a bad hair day. So yeah, but yours, you made good hair, hair out of it. Wow. <laughs> so how long have you been doing this band? Uh, we actually got this lineup together in January. Okay. We met last summer, but we went through a lot of different people, and, and this lineup is awesome. Oh, I love when that happens. It's Good friends. So it's the 2014 day. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Thank you coming up, boy. Yes. This Saturday. This Saturday at our bar? At our bar. Thank you, Kim. Yeah. And it's for my partner, Dave Tanner. It's his birthday. Happy Woo! birthday. Hey, 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 hey. You better be how watching. Many, how many candles do you need? Uh, uh, well, there's not enough cam camels out there. He's, he's <laughs> way fucking older than me. He looks good, though. Hey, man, that's where it all He's in good shape. Yeah, he is. He works harder than I do. That's yeah, right. Well, he works differently than you do. You do different things. That's right. Yeah. I use my brain. Uh, and then he... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm not saying anything there. <laughs> so, uh, the name of the band again is... Anthemic. And what does that mean? Uh, Anthemic? Is it a word? Yvonne, did you make, it, did you make up the word? Our singer came up with that sitting in my living room one night. And is she Mermaid? She used to be Mermaid yeah. Filet. Yeah, right. Um, she has another band, Love Conquers All. Okay, right. and she's our singer, and she's awesome. She is awesome. I love her. She's she's great. Yeah. So she came up with this word. We were hanging out, and uh, I think so what happened? Anthem, anthemic. So are the what? songs like very deep? No, like... no, no, no. What happened is that I have a guitar case that was right across from her, and it's got all these stickers, right? And one of them was a band, and it looked like anthemic. The the sentence and yeah. she, then we were trying to come up with a band name, which is probably the hardest it's thing to hard. do. Well, it's hard. Well, I got a bottle of scotch. <laughs> Finding an apartment that doesn't pay the rent is a little hard. Yeah, yeah. well, hell yeah. yeah. But at the same time, she said, how about anthemic? And, and we just went up and it's stuck. Perfect. It's easy. It's one word. It's short. I like that. It's, it's always better. And i, I got to tell you, with the talent of this act, I'm so honored to be... The promoter of the very first show, man. I, I'm really We're so happy to be uh, there, you know, Kim. This Saturday, man. Go for it. <laughs> and and uh, we got a, we got a great night. 
uh, for Dave Tanner's birthday. Dave has been my partner for going upon 14 years now. Wow. He has outlasted both of my marriages put together. Okay? That's because he like, doesn't that sleep. That requires yeah. that alcohol. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. Or maybe he does. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. You know, I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, you're killing me. Oh, uh, that's we. Oh, uh, jeez. Uh, I'm just not gonna win this one. Anyway, we've got the uh, opening of the show. We got the, the Paul Anthony Band, uh, the amazing Marissa Licata, violinist from Jethro Tull, and uh, uh, Alicia Keys and Ringo Starr's band. She'll be uh, performing that night along with uh, the Thrill Sergeants. The debut of Anthemic Woo! and the one and only Danny's oh. Devil's Blues yeah, yeah, yeah. this Saturday night. RR 218 Bowery. And, um, yeah, 218 Bowery. I love that um, address for some reason. 218 is a very important day for me. That's, that, yeah, that's, that was ha the first that's half a day's head right there. Oh, that's, that's the guy that sold me a bad batch of meth, man. Uh -oh. Jesus, get that dude. Oh. You're right, probably 30 years ago. You that's right. Bad, yes. Wow, wow, so that's the secret. I love one of the comments that it looks like a, a police perp sketch. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Was that yours? Frank Wood. Yeah. I made the poster. I know what I'm doing. Right. Or is that Adam Horowitz from the Beastie Boys? Oh, wow. wow. You never know. You got to fight. Yeah. Sometimes I do. You're right. Yeah. 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 And then we all know at a party, right? Yeah. Or at least we did one day, anyway, right? Do <laughs> you? Yeah. Well, you know, it's not the same as it was. I mean... No, because I got to sleep for a day and a half afterwards. <laughs> it's 20 years later. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. It's like, I mean, you wake right? up and you got a daughter with rainbow hair. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It looks fantastic, by the way. I love oh, your know. Oh, my God. It's so, such a hard act to follow, girl. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, so, our plan was like, okay... Let's act stupid. All right. <laughs> Where'd you go to school? Uh, I went to Skidmore College. Actually. Oh, that's why you lived in Saratoga. That's correct. Yeah. Wait. So you grew up there. At, is it cheaper for you if you live there? I got to go. I, I, my mother was the editor for the magazine, so I got to go for free. And my father, oh! my father taught physics as well. So. At the school. Yeah. You suck, man. I do. Yeah, no, I Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was nice. See, I looked at that school with my daughter. That's why I was there. Did you, did you get uh, accepted to Skidmore, too? Skidmore's Yeah, my daughter got accepted. It's really lovely. It's, it's a really... So well, we had basically our you? own... Say again? Did it work for you? Oh, my God. I, I, I did not want to go there because I grew up in yeah, the town. Yeah, of course. That's but then I once did. I got there, I was like, this place is amazing. So you got to hide from your parents a little bit and be free? Yeah, yeah. Did you live at home? One year. Oh, you learned quickly. Because those houses, even driving up there, I mean, they give you the scenic route when you're coming to visit. They like, well, you I, can I, go I, this way, but you should go this way. Yeah, I grew, up, I grew up right way. in the center, so, oh, so everything cute. was walkable, like, it was fantastic. It was, I mean, it was a wonderful place to grow up, actually, and, like, tons of amazing music came out of that town. My brother, younger brother, has an awesome band called The Figs that just played in New York on Saturday at the Bowery nice. Of course, yeah. Uh, a friend of mine who plays drums, uh, drums of Jupiter or whatever, who train, the fucking oh. Jonathan Train I went to high school with. Another dude I went to high school with plays drums for like the Jonas Brothers and Miley Cyrus, too. Like, there's a ton of shitload of really good wow. musicians coming out of Surf Springs. There's so, nothing else to do up there. Well, yeah. Well, they can move to Albuquerque for a little while. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So what brought you there? Uh, I had, after I graduated from college, a buddy of mine and I spent three and a half months driving around the United States. And uh, I, we, we spent some time in New Mexico, which I fell in love with. And I had a friend that lived in Albuquerque, and I said, I have to live here. Like, the license place is Land of Enchantment, and it's no it's joke. Beautiful There's place, something yeah. beautiful spectacular place. about New Mexico. So... I knew I had to live there. It was short, brief. I was there with a rock and roll band, and it didn't last too long. But uh, I was glad I got six months in Duke City. Did you get any peyote buttons? I got many things. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, yes. Yeah, the Eagles were just, they, I just watched the special of the whole thing about the Eagles, how they started and up until pretty now. And you know, and they could change their name after the Bolt Eagles. Well, do you know how come they're called the Eagles? Because they all ate peyote in the desert, and they were tripping their brains out, and an eagle flew overhead, and it was that, like, whoa! I can good. so relate And that's to that. how yeah, they yeah, became yeah, the yeah. Eagles. They went out there, like, and they all had to eat it. It was like they all had to eat, 
eat like it at the same time, and then they drank the tea, and they it was like a peyote party. Oh God, yes. I, I, but I think it was in Colorado. Uh, oh, yeah. if it was set up there. I mean, I lived in I lived or in the desert. Was, or it was I desert. Wait, what's the place in California that desert tree was? Uh, jo- uh, yeah, uh, that's where it was, Joshua Tree. Yeah, because I lived in, 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 in Arizona uh, out the desert. Joshua Tree. Time, and, uh, definitely had my run in. And the photographer who was shooting them is the one that organized the whole thing. Right, that's right. Yeah, 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 I did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you saw it too. Yeah, but that went towards Showtime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So let's talk more to you now. So what do you do in the band? Guitar. I play guitar in the band, but what do I do for a living? Yeah, hair. <laughs> oh, that's how you know all the hair tricks. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I worked in salons for uh, 12 years, and then I took the business in my home. Good for you. Best thing I've ever done. Oh. In fact, I was inspired by Danny Biondo, who was a good oh. friend, who was working from home, and he was kind of telling me, like, why are you giving half your money to the salon? Right, right, right. right. So how do people find you? How do people find you if they want their hair done? I've had uh, so many clients follow me from eight salons in 12 years. Good for you. <laughs> and so they just come over and word of mouth. And, yeah. And my business runs really well. And you do everything, color, yes. cut, the, anything they want. Anything mm-hmm. they want. I, I renovated my 350 square feet to wow. include the salon. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. how when the band comes over... The, People have to sit on the floor. That's There's fine. only five of us, but That's it's okay. the way it works. And Air is important. It's it's great. I serve alcohol. I play loud rock and roll. So people and can find you like on Facebook or wherever to, if they do my hair? The thing is I need referral because it is my home. Yes. You know? Yes. I don't like psychos. No, I don't blame you. Yeah. Hey, that hey. Makes sense. <laughs> You're welcome, Frank. Yeah, right. I know Danny and yet she here. met me in the band. <laughs> He was my client. That's how we got him. Oh, that's good. See, yeah. You never know. Yvonne and I were looking for bass and drummer, and he was sitting in my chair. I knew he was a great guitarist, but I played him a, a few drummer. tapes of us, and, and he and he said, I miss drumming. And I said, wow. auditioning wow. on that's Monday. Great. And a lot of drummers play guitar, though. I find so many drummers play guitar. He's yeah. played guitar for, like, three times as long as me. Yes, <laughs> Wow. Yeah, three times and more than me. So Wow. Well, today is Oatmeal Raisin Day. I hope you guys will partake. Have a cookie, please. And um, I like fermented sugar. <laughs> well, there might be a drink somewhere that we can stick it in. Um, and then we would like a skeleton from your closet. Didn't I share enough already? No. With his mouth full. Naughty. I love it. Naughty. Okay. Up at uh, Skidmore College. There you go. My senior thesis was LSD. Oh! So, uh, my, my, uh... Shit made me happy. My professor was willing to lie to the department about what we were actually doing, so we presented a false project and then did a real project. And, uh, wow. What was the false project? It was called Phenomenology, which is the study of subjective experience. But mm-hmm. what we were actually doing was LSD as a tool for... Pharmacological awareness, ego reduction, things and like that. And who supplied the LSD? I had friends. <laughs> <laughs> My teacher was well versed in the ways. Wow. I like that story. <laughs> wow. What'd you get? A plus. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a skeleton to share? After that? Yeah, of course. Last boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, let's see, I got all my LSD on the streets of Chicago when I was growing up. How about that? And what colors was your favorite colors when you were trying that LSD? Well, I'm not as young as I look. I'd say orange sunshine was yeah, great. Yeah, baby. <laughs> sunshine days, that's right. I mean, I went all the way through my years to the uh, Beavis and Butthead on paper, but you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> that worked. That's that worked. enough of this skeleton. There you go. <laughs> when did you get your first tattoo? When I ret- retired from my last business and started doing hair. Because in my last business, I had to look a little more conservative. Okay. And um, when I started, I always wanted tattoos. We like you the way you are. Yeah, she's yeah. Yeah. Well, it so was, beautiful. It was only for money to be conservative. Uh-huh. <laughs> now I don't make any money, but I can do what I want. There you go. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I like that. So any last shout outs? Anthemic, May 3rd, 9.45.
But come early because there's a lot of great bands. Great kind of music. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yay. Thank you, Ruth. Yeah. Thank you, Kim. Thanks, guys. Love you.